Hello and welcome to Valley Form for a special edition Sunday Community Day here at the Valley. The rail goes out to the seven metre position. We know that can be a little bit tricky to find a winner, but hopefully the luck is on our side. Rayman, Sunday racing at the Valley, it's a nice little change of speed. It's a great thing to speed. I'm really excited. A little bit of a change of pace. Uh, I think, can't think of a better way to spend a Sunday afternoon. As much as I love Ladbrokes Friday Night Lights, it's a, just a, a really pleasant change. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Race five to kick off the quarter is the Resolve Environmental Handicap over 1,600 metres. The favourite's number three, Caesar. Is he also the winner or have you found something to beat him? I think Caesar is going to be tough to beat here, Benny, but the horse I've got on top is Golden Crusader. First up from a spell, but produced a, a number of uh, pretty impressive performances last preparation. And I think if it can return to the races in that sort of form, it's going to be pretty tough to beat. Jamie Carr in the saddle is a positive. This horse does have a bit of tactical versatility. So I think it's uh, definitely got the ability to upset this favourite. Horse I think can run a big race at a bit of a price is Glitter and Gold, a horse that's found career best form this mare. Two wins on the trot. This is a step up in quality, but Barrier 5, Damien Oliver in the saddle, she should get every chance in the run. I think she can run a race at a big price. So for the quaddy, I'm going with number three, Golden Crusader, number five, Westbrook Park, number eight, Caesar, and number 10, Glitter and Gold. Race six is a sharp, extensive IT handicap. And I'm with number five here, Stars Bowen for training partnership, David Brideoak and Matt Jenkins. This horse has been awesome in his last three starts without winning, but I think that just gives us a better price heading into Sunday. Uh, last start, he jumped well, but was dragged back from a wide barrier. He charged home through the line when the race was all over. This Sunday, he draws barrier two, so I think he can position himself closer in the run, and he now gets Ben Malum aboard, which is a huge first time booking. This horse is rock hard fit, and given he's run the fastest last 600 meters in three of his past four starts, you can count on him being strong late if he gets the right run in transit. In the quaddy, I'll go with number two, Kev's Girl, number four, Bella Solarina. Number five, Stars Bowen, and number seven, Miss Machini. Race seven is the measure engineering handicap, and I think this is the toughest betting race of the day. You can make a case for a number of runners here. The early favourite of Ladbrokes is Mama Reagan, who's impressed since joining the Nick Ryan stable, but the horse I've got on top here is Red Hot Nick. I just think the luck in running could be key here in what's a really open race, and he's drawn barrier forward, does have early speed, can go forward, and we've seen him in... Uh, win in really impressive fashion at the Valley in the past. And he's got a, a good record over this distance as well. So red hot Nick on top for me, but I do think Mama Reagan is going to be right in the mix here. As I said, very, very open race. They're going very wide in the quaddy here. Number one, Mama Reagan. Number two, red hot Nick. Number three, fluorescent star. Number six, no way ever. And number seven, Von Gull. Race eight is the Ladbrokes Mates Mode Handicap. It's a benchmark 70 over 1,200 metres. It's a difficult race to end proceedings as always. But I think the most bomb-proof option could be number five, Gunner Gunner, who draws barrier five for trainer Chris Calthorpe. This horse is coming through a really strong form race, I thought, last start, where she ran well behind, well above average mares, Pacific Ruby and Boss Queen. They run the one-two. Pacific Ruby's unbeaten four out of four since joining the Kieran Ma and David Eustace stable, while Boss Queen, she ran third behind two smart girls, I thought, in unusual culture and Cap de Joie. Uh, Gunner Gunner maps well here from Barrier 5. I think she can go forward and either find the 1-1 one, one or sit outside the lead. And the jockey change to Blake Shin is a fair upgrade. In the quaddy, I'll go with number four, Donna Natalina. Number five, Gunner Gunner. Number six, Gillette. She's probably next best at $12. Number 10, Moa Lock. And number 11, Ledecky's Dream. Well, Rayman, that is the quaddy, but give us your Sunday best. I'm going early in the day here, Benny. Race three, number six, Wagon Wheel for Aaron Purcell was... A really good winner last start at the Valley. Just never gave its rivals a chance, basically. One by three and a half lengths. And from Barry One, I think Jamie Carr can just dictate terms again and just ensure that she has this uh, her own way. So over 2,500 metres, I think Wagon Wheel will outstay its rivals here and just prove too good. So race three, number six, Wagon Wheel. Thanks again for joining us on Valley Form. The next time we meet, it'll be for the $5 million Sharp EIT All-Star Mile.